So I'm going to keep this as short as possible because it technically is supposed to be a presentation and those really only last about five or six minutes at most. But honestly, I'm also going to say now that it's an impossible mark to make for me <laughs> because uh, if you could not already tell, this is a video essay. Um, however, I do need to keep it pretty short, so let's hop in right with our introduction. And that starts with our um, essential questions. So first up, pretty evidently, how does Ariaster's work hold literary merit? And secondly, how does Ariaster's directional style in films like Hereditary and Midsummer contribute to the thematic exploration and emotional impact of the stories being told? These these will you know come in later, obviously. So let's let's get started with a more kind of broad question, which is who is Ari Aster? Um, Ari Aster is a horror film director with only two released films as of 2023, one of which gained Aster significant recognition and acclaim for his feature film debut, Hereditary, released in 2018. The film starring Tony Collette tells the story of a family haunted by a mysterious presence after the death of their secretive and later revealed cultist grandmother. Hereditary received critical acclaim for its atmospheric tension, powerful performances, and unsettling imagery. This was followed up by his success with another horror film, Midsummer, released in 2019, only the year after. The film is set in a remote Swedish village revolving around a group of friends who become the targets of a pagan cult during a summer festival. Like Hereditary, Midsummer is received critical praise for its visual style themes and Florence Pugh's lead performance. Ari Aster's work delves into themes like loss, grief, surrealism, cosmic horror, love for cults for some reason, and so and does so in an unorthodox way that has never been seen in horror cinema until now. And that brings us to our next point. Why is Ari Aster's work so intriguing and how is that integrated into his directing and storytelling style? A big part of Ari Aster's storytelling and how he, you know, gets his point across in a literary way is the themes that he kind of uh, weaves in. And because I'm a little biased, I'm going to be primarily focusing uh, the, the analysis on my preferred film of the two, which is Midsummer. Uh, Midsummer, on a metaphorical surface level, is about a breakup, which uh, if you've actually seen the movie and weren't losing it about how crazy it was, you'd probably be able to notice how. What's so interesting and different about the way Aster handles a topic like a breakup is how he portrays it through subtle means. The characters have moments where the romantic spark just isn't there, sure, but there are also moments like how after Christian, Danny's boyfriend, forgets that it's her birthday, he fails to light a last minute cupcake scandal, which they are deliberately placed on either side of to convey how the flame, in this context, between them is no longer kindled even when it's tended to. Aster makes it his job to show the audience the meanings of his work, but in a way that they have to search for themselves. That isn't to say that the more obvious but still meaningful scenes that depict the film's core of the breakup aren't there, though. Early on in the film, and I mean like really, really early on, we encounter Christian having a conversation with his friends about how he needs to break up with Danny because of their, their relationship is on the rocks. It's immediately followed uh, by the news that Danny's family had just tragically died, rendering Christian unable to leave Danny due to how painful of an experience that she's going through. The scene is then pushed to have us witness Christian comforting Danny with a look of obligation and apathy on his face that shows us how much he just really doesn't want to be there. The interactions are both simple but incredibly powerful. Through the just these means, we can tell where on the spectrum these characters fall. The conversation feels real, the ample means of an expression tells a thousand words and gets so much more across than, it, than if it had been written as a back and forth conversation. And this really can't be done without how well Aster is able to write and direct the way that it's depicted, which brings us to film style. Uh, and with film style, there's no bigger con contributor than the cinematography that Aster utilizes in such an organic and authentic way. Almost every single scene in Mudsummer is shot where the characters are rarely seen speaking face to face even during an exchange, and if they are, it's usually to highlight another thematic choice that ultimately adds to just how uncomfortable the mood of the story and the relationships between the characters are. Exchanges ha happen within literal reflections of one character in a mirror or the bright spot on a TV screen. There are so many hidden details within Midsummer itself. As aforementioned and in key detail, Danny's entire family died tragically, which remains an incredibly prevalent theme and is actually a compulsory plot point that drives the narrative. Throughout the movie, Aster highlights the importance of Danny's loss by having it affect not only Danny and Christian, but every single character in the movie by extension. 
However, there are some things about Ari Aster's films, specifically the gen genre that they fall under, that don't always sit right with him. Aster's outlook on horror delves into his perspective on horror, as stated by the director himself. It notes his dissatisfaction with the genre's current state, which has been dominated by remakes and franchises. This dissatisfaction suggests Aster's desire to redefine horror by addressing societal issues and psychological tendencies. His search for catharsis in his films and his commitment to pushing boundaries showcase his dedication to elevating the genre beyond its traditional limitations. And of course we have the essential question. Does Ari Aster's work, Midsummer specifically, contain literary merit? Yes, it is possible to argue that Midsummer by Ari Aster has literary merit. Despite the fact that literary merit is arbitrary and can differ based on personal interpretations and standards, Midsummer has a number of qualities that raise the possibility of it having literary value. The movie first explores intricate subjects including sorrow, trauma, and the human psyche. It offers thoughtful reflection and in-depth analysis as it tackles these subjects in full. Layers of significance are provided by the story and symbol of symbolism in Midsummer, allowing for various interpretations and deeper investigation of the human condition. In addition, the movie has excellent craftsmanship and creative vision. How does Ari Aster's directional style in films like Hereditary and Midsummer contribute to the thematic exploration and emotional impact of the stories being told? Ari Aster's directorial style plays a crucial role in enhancing the thematic exploration and emotional impact of his films. Aster's painstaking attention to detail and visual narrative are two distinguishing features of his work. Aster delivers a visually complex and layered experience that emphasizes and themes and emotions that play through a meticulous framing, composition, and the use of symbolism. In Midsummer, Aster's direct Tutorial style takes on a different form. The film is characterized by bright, sun-drenched visuals juxtaposed with disturbing and real ritualistic scenes. The stark contrast serves to intensify the exploration of the protagonist's journey through grief and the transformative nature of the cult she encounters. Aster's attention to visual details in this film, such as intricate tapestries and vibrant floral arrangements, not only adds to the film's aesthetic appeal, but also contributes to the thematic like symbolism him. and immersive storytelling. Danny, do you feel held by him? Does he feel like home to you?